Nothing beats the pumpkin spice Nespresso. Nothing. And y'all know me. I don't like pumpkin spice. Nine times out of ten. I'm just like, I've never found a good pumpkin spice. But Nespresso, their pods, they just do it so well. Yeah. Today we're going to do a bunch of baking and cooking. And I'm going to finally make the uh, fire cider. Don't take the fire cider after you just drank your coffee, but I take that back. Don't chase the fire cider with sparkling strawberry lemonade, sparkling water. Oh God, that was disgusting. Ooh. Also, we need to talk about this sweater. I like the thickness of it. I like the material of it, but it is giving puffy shirt guy vibes <laughs> to the max. I hate how like, I don't know, I don't know what I honestly hate about it. I think it's like a combination of everything. It's slightly cropped. It literally hits me at my hip bones. It's very rigid in like this area. So it, it doesn't just like sit loosely or naturally anywhere. Because it's slightly cropped, it looks really, really wide. The sleeves, I know Echo, the sleeves are super wide and then they have that tight stitch at the bottom. I feel like I have to pop my collar because I feel like with this down, it just looks weird. I feel like this gives even more puffy shirt guy vibes, like some Peter Pan moment. It doesn't naturally stay down like this. Eventually this will just naturally bottom pop up. But yeah, I got this at a boutique and it was final sale, so I can't return it. But again, like the material is so nice. Like on, I just want to sit here, like <laughs> rub my boobs. But I just like it's a really soft material on the inside and the outside, and it's like a really nice thick material. Like this would be a good, just like big, comfy sweater material. But it's like this weird crop puffy shirt guy. I'm the beast when he turns into a human. Like I look like the beast to see it just popped up by itself. Roads do not look fun nor fresh to drive on this morning so i'm not gonna be going anywhere today so i'm really glad actually that yesterday i got a bunch of i got a bunch of grocery shopping done yesterday that was needed also recently i've noticed that i have sometimes like depending on the register i talk in i notice i have like a little growly vocal fry going on and i don't hate it
Okay, y'all. So I have a few qualms with this recipe. First and foremost, the apples, when you are baking them on the stovetop, it tells you to add water to it, which I thought was dumb when I was doing it. And then I found it was even more dumb to do it after I had made, like, put it all together because apples themselves are already so juicy and are so full of water that adding more water to it just made it way too runny, way too liquidy. So if you make this, don't don't add the water. Secondly, this recipe also calls for an obscene amount of butter, like you just saw there. It tells you to put an entire stick or half a cup of butter, spread it across the dough. I probably used like a quarter cup of butter in the end. And then it also there is a icing that you make that is mostly all butter. I would avoid making that icing, honestly. Like it was all right, but it just grossed me out knowing how much butter was in that icing. So just for a warning, I definitely want to find a better icing. But I think other than like too much butter and adding water, this was a really good recipe and I want to make it again. And I would also recommend dicing up your apples to be bigger, like bigger, chunkier apples, I think would make this just perfect. So no water, bigger apple chunks, and cut down on your butter. And it's perfect. Okay, y'all, I need to know, is anyone else like me, when you have a trip coming up, you start packing at least a few weeks in advance? Anyone else? Anyone else? Just me? Perfect. Great. Love that. I have a work trip coming up. I feel like I've mentioned it a few times at this point. And I want to get some packing done in advance. I want to get packing because I got new luggage. 
So this is the carry-on size. It's a beautiful 20 inch. I love it because the big selling points for me that it's black. It kind of looks navy in certain lighting, which I don't hate, but it is black. And then all of the metal detailings are gold. The amount of cases I found that were like this, that may have had like a one metal component, would be gold, but the rest would all be silver. So I was just like, that's lame. I want mine to be all gold. Even this is gold. All gold hardware. I'm obsessed. Look at you all, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, full of the joys of spring, ready to engage in a vicious game of treachery, deceit, and murder. But be warned, in this game, there are no BFFs. Unless, of course, BFF stands for betrayers, fakes. 